this is the book of uh, this is the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 6 and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war see that you be not troubled for all these things must first come to pass but the end is not yet Shalom first and foremost I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Hashem Mokar Kadash Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely and Shalom to the uh, Akim scattered the four points of the globe preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well too and I say Shalom to the Akim out there and this is a uh, sit down lesson that I wanted to bring out uh, this is a news article that I wanted to bring out of the sit down lesson and this is from the uh, FBD.org this is my first ever time uh, seeing this uh, website. And it's regard to this news article uh, published July the 28th, 2023 by Flash Brief. And it reads, the IDF, which is the Israeli Defense Force Intelligence, warns of a growing, growing threat at, at the Israeli-Lebanon border. And keep this in mind as well, too. You've been seeing, uh, I would say, from from last year and previous years and as of recently as well too you know i've been doing sit down lessons on the regards of uh on on and off class border conflicts between the lebanese citizens and the israeli defense force right along with the uh resistance of the palestinians palestinians crossing the borders of uh lebanon jordan uh, the west bank gaza script throughout the whole region you know you've been seeing uh back and forth uh growing uh uh, wars and commotions and proxy wars and isolated clashes over there as well, as well too as of recently you know so i just want to add an additional note to that and then keep this in mind too you had uh i would say about like uh i would say close to like uh, a month and a half ago uh you had a uh, military exercise drills was uh, planned by the israeli defense force and then they made that announcement that uh, amending the tensions that they have against uh, the pro-Iranian groups, Hezbollah, and the resistance of the Palestinians as well, too, throughout multiple different areas throughout the Middle East over there, you know. And they were saying that uh, they was getting uh, pre preparation for a possible uh, multi-front uh, escalations in these different areas of cross-border areas over there in the Middle East, like Jordan, Lebanon, you know, throughout regions over there, like I uh, mentioned again, you know, and on top of that as well, too. So I just want to add an additional note to that. But uh, as it says again, it says the uh, IDF, which is the Israeli, uh, the Israeli Defense Force Intelligence, warns of a growing threat as the Israeli-Lebanon border. It says the latest developments, it says the Israeli intelligence personnel has issued an increasing, an increasingly dying warning about security on Israel's northern border. The Israeli media reported July the 28th, according to the Yidat Aronach, uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has re uh, received multiple letters, including a recent as last week. It says, uh, from the Israeli military intelligence uh, di direct, di direct rate, if I pronounce that right, a uh, warning of him uh, high prospecting for escalations with the, I <clears throat> with the uh, Iranian-backed organization, Hezbollah. And it says, uh, the letters warn that Hezbollah and Iran are monitoring a uh, internal unrest in Israel and view the the small hat the small hat state materians as being a historical low low point. And the uh, intelligence reports also claiming that the uh, reform weakening the US Israeli alliance further harming the Tyrians. And it says uh, the warnings come at the internal protests over the Israeli government judicial reforms right which they have in processes over that as well too it says have raised concern that the uh, israeli defense force which is the idf lack the readiness and capabilities i mean and the capability to uh respond to various threats by the iranian backed groups 
and it says the status quo on Israel's northern border has been retem retem uh, retem what you call it uh, relatively peaceful for years but recent provocations by Hezbollah has disrupted this frequently fueled by the Israeli political instability in the prolonged cycle of violence in the West Bank Hezbollah and Iran perceive this as a opportunity to move minimum uh, to advance their strategy of acting military against the Jewish state. It says a uh, research analyst, the F A, uh, the F A D D, Long War Journal. It says that Hezbollah rightly calculates that America's posture in the Lebanon constraint Israel amplified the group's deterrence of the IDF, therefore the IDF intelligence read, reading the frame, framing the U.S. Israel ties, weakening deterrence against Hezbollah misunderstanding America's posture. The U.S., I mean the United States is, is extending the de facto provocative umbrella to Lebanon, to Lebanon and uh, opposing Israeli military action. It says Israel and the United States are not aligned with Lebanon. It says the Hezbollah escalations. For years, the IDF has warned of Hezbollah growing military possibilities. Experts estimating that Hezbollah possesses 150,000 rockets and 500 persistent guide missiles aiming at Israel. When the internal uh, overwhelming the Israeli defense systems. However, the organization groups, if you know what I mean, has avoided armed conflicts with Israel since 2006, since the Lebanese war. It says that may have changed on March the 13th. Hezbollah operated cross borders into Israel and planned a roadside bomb at Mededo uh, Junction that injured an Arab driver, I mean, an Arab Israeli driver, armed Hezbollah fighters, uh, erected a tent in the Israeli territory on April the 8th, which was a couple of months ago. It says near the disputed blue line and set up a second tent a week later on July the 6th, which was uh, earlier this month. It says Hezbollah fired an anti tank missile at Israel's northern border with parts of the projectile landing in the Israeli territory. The IDF uh, Israeli Defense Force uh, responds to the attack in the artillery. On July the 12th, three Hezbollah operatives received a non-lethal injury from the IDF stung grenade after an attempt to sabotage the security fence between the Israeli and Lebanon. On July the 28th, the Israeli Defense Force released a video on Hezbollah members patrolling the Lebanese-Israel border near the Israeli community of Dovev. The IDF did not specify the date that the video was filmed, saying only that it happened last week. Bring out uh, Matthew 24, Matthew 24 and verse 7. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 7, and reads, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes, I mean, uh, famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6, and it reads, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, and see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying. Of this recent news article as it says again as of july the 28th 2023 from fdd.org as it says again the israeli defense force intelligence intelligence warns of growing threat as israel lebanon border so with that once again i would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to yahweh bashem yahweh shai bashem or karkadash shalom to the uh, elders for christian word truthfully and sincerely 
and Shalom to the Akim, Scott is the four corners of the globe, which the works with his sincerity as well too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.